In this video, I'll be discussing a little more in-depth example of shear stress. This will uh, start off much like vector statics, uh, as most problems do. And let me just zoom in on here. First of all, you have a 300 pound force kind of uh, acting on this mechanism, which is just a basic beam type problem. Um, of course, I give us areas of the different pins that are utilized at basically the key points that we're going to be referencing A, B, and then C up in the top. Um, we're still talking about the shear stress on the pin, but we need to solve the mechanism before we start talking about the pin. So it's just a means of stress. Um, and of course, we use the same function to solve for shear stress. So let's just look at first for where our forces are, just like we would in statics. So we have our force here of 300 pounds. Then we have our two reaction forces, one right here. I'm just going to assume this is just a vertical force, assuming that this linkage is at 90 degrees, which is what I was intending to draw. And this one is also going to have a vertical or and then also a horizontal, technically. So we could name those. We could name that force A, force BY, which we can do. We'll just do it real quick. BY. And then as you come up here, this would be CY and then CX. And I'm just going to make a step back for a second. And you can kind of see the whole picture. This um, CX has nothing to counter it. So we can automatically assume that since the summation of forces needs to equal 0, because we're not moving, CX is just going to equal 0. We can call that a day. Now we need to do something a little bit more uh, what we're familiar with in vector statics is uh, find the moment based off of you know a singular point and then work our way around. So the place that I'm going to focus on, and I'll just label it, it's right here. It's B. And so I'm going to do the moment about B to figure out what all the forces are basically to solve for CY and then we'll use the summation of forces to solve for BY but since BY is on the actual point of rotation there's no moment going to be reactant because the linkage arm or the the distance from the point is zero so it just cancels out so let me just quickly solve for this for our moments I'll just zoom in so we can keep it save room. Okay. M B. We know that this is going to equal zero because nothing's rotating. And we're talking about a pin joint. And we know that it is three hundred times five. Because we have our three hundred we have our three hundred pounds right here and it's five inches away up at the top so we can automatically write that in 300 times 5 and the reason I'm going to keep that as positive is because it's following the right hand rule uh, basically counterclockwise around the point is positive so we're just keeping that uh, convention uh, trust me, other people prefer different conventions, but this will work for us. Now, on the other force up here, C, CY, it's 10 inches, as you can see right here, 10 inches. It's uh, and it's, We're talking about an acting plane. We're not talking about this diagonal. Let me get a different color. We're not talking about this diagonal line here. 
we're only talking about the acting plane dis uh, distance. So since this is the acting plane, then you can see that we're actually only 10 inches away from our by, our moment point. Let me get rid of those and we can continue on. Okay, so solving for this, it's going to be cy times 10. plus cy times 10. And remember that equals 0. So I'm just going to solve for us that cy should equal 150 pounds. And I'll put red underneath it so we can always reference it easily. And then, um, but it's not 150 pounds in the way that you're thinking of. Because if you solve for this, you actually get negative 150 pounds. So technically, and I'm just putting this in red so we can see it, it should be negative 150 pounds. Just keeping the same convention. And really all that means is that it's not actually 150 pounds up, it's 150 pounds down. So we should say something like this. Just in our minds, that's what we're going to be imagining. 150 pounds south here. So now if you look at it, that CY is pushing down at 150 pounds, and this wires also pushing down 150 pounds that means that by must be countering both of those at 450 pounds and that's just summation of forces forces all must equal zero so basically force b equals 300 plus 150 so that equals 450 pounds. Now, I'm going to just bring us right into the shear stress and bring out a room. So I'm going to zoom in here. We have force A, which is where the linkage, or where the force attaches to the linkage, and that's 300 pounds. We have force B, which is 450 pounds. Never mind the convention of what direction the force is going in, because uh, the pin doesn't care. Force C, that equals 150 pounds. And as a reminder to us, I have these forces, or these areas, I mean, that I've already predetermined just mentally. And so all we're going to do is we're going to calculate quickly the shear stress on A, B, and C utilizing these areas and our calculated forces. So I'm going to zoom in again just to our area. I'm going to use blue. And I already have the numbers written down, so it's going to be TA is equal to. 300 over 0.25 inches squared. That's the area of the pin at that point, which actually equals 1200 psi. Now, if I go into the next pin, let's say B, the one that's holding 450 pounds, stress at B is equal to 450 pounds over 
which is just like multiplying by 2, you have 900 PSI. Less stress because the pin is actually twice the area in the cross section. And, oh boy, running out of room here. Shear stress of C is going to be. Well, we needed more room here. We're going to just zoom in. 150 divided by 0.2. And I can't handle that. All right, there we go. That's a lot cleaner. And that'll equal 750 PSI. So just calculating it all, um, we find that point A is sitting somewhere around 1,200 PSI, you have point B, let's see here, let's undo that one. Oh, we have an error already. We're going to use that one's 900, 900 PSI, and then this one up here, point C, that's going to be sitting at around 750. Now I'm not saying which way the shear is happening or anything or what, what way the force is happening or anything. We lose that convention once we start talking about stress. So thank you for your time and watch the next video.